Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be breaking down the new TPO tool within TradingView, breaking it down for you, uh, how you can use it, etc. Uh, and hopefully you can find some value within it. So to begin with, obviously I've got this up here, this is looking really ugly, but to bring it up in the first place, go over to, you know, your indicators, type in TPO, time price opportunity, it's going to come up there, we'll just delete one. Um, we'll hide everything and here we go this is what you've got going on uh, we'll dive into the settings in a minute um, actually we'll dive into them now so you obviously got period so period is simply how much you know each one of these profiles here so you've got a time profile which is all these block with blocks with the letters on them and then you've got the volume profile so this one on the left hand side is going to be representing time the one on the right is going to be representing volume okay on of the same given day or whatever period you've got it set to which i'll cover in a second so if we just double click here so each one of these is one day, so they pair together right now. So if we set it to one day, that's fine. That's generally what you want to be leaving it on, uh, to be honest. Now, the block size is, again, if you're dealing with one uh, daily profile, so you're looking at daily, different daily TPO charts, I would also recommend leaving this at 30 minutes. Um, you can switch it to an hour. Personally, I would leave this on 30 minutes um, and so on. And, and, you know, obviously, you've actually got the period where you can adjust this. So you can have four days worth of price action you can customize it like that what you cannot do is customize this yet into sessions um which i'm sure will probably come down later down the line i'm not too sure but yeah i thought i'd mention that obviously it's available within exo charts um but yeah this is trading you so typically you'd want to set it to one day obviously you've got one week one month you know one week one month and you can adjust how many weeks or months you want to adjust it to there but for the sake of this video we'll stick it on one day and leave it there uh, you then got block size again like i said i'd leave that on 30 minute i would say uh, i'll say this actually if you're doing weekly okay i'd recommend the block size be four hour okay and if you're doing monthly i'd recommend you can't even put it on higher than this i, I wouldn't use the monthly tp on here but i'd use four hours well for that okay um, but for the sake of this video we'll stick it on a daily 30 minute now what i want to change in this is definitely the row size um because this automatic looks really ugly in my opinion um, and you want to change this to manual now what this row size is doing you can see there's a ton of different blocks here so there's one block at you know one block you know covering a certain amount of price okay one block covering a certain amount of price and because in this case i'm looking at bitcoin each you know it's, it's going over ticks per row okay so one tick for bitcoin is 0.1 0 0.1 so if i change this to you know i'll change this to 120 for example i know this is a decent value okay each tick each row okay is going to be shown 120 ticks which is 0 0.1 times 120 okay which should be around i believe 12 dollars my maths is correct okay and you can see how obviously how the blocks become much more granulated and you can see you know a lot more within it itself obviously you can adjust this for bitcoin i would you know 100 to 200 it seems is, is, is a nice value even 250 is decent depends how blocky you want it to be but obviously if you stick this on auto you can see how it's really really not that good at all i'll definitely leave this on manual for myself i would leave this on we'll leave it on 140 um you you've obviously then got the value area percentage you know what percentage you want to be leaving this at the value area or showing the value area and, and we'll go over this in a second in more detail um you can even on 70 68 is fine 69 70 those are the kind of generic ones to be using um in my opinion we'll leave it on you can stick, stick it on 68 okay now you've got the style now this is just going to be look, the look of the profile and i'll cover the, the meaning of this okay so the gradient colors this is literally just the colors you want so what i actually did i got my own kind of color scheme here that i saved anyway and you can see here now we've got this kind of bluish tpo profile going on okay uh then you've got the blocks so do you want to even see the blocks i mean i don't know if it's going to take a second to, to remove them uh, there we go so you, you don't even need to see the blocks you know you can keep a really simple view with none of the blocks in play okay uh, in that case, you then also got letters. Do you want to see the letters or not? Uh, and also the, you know, generally I actually leave this unchecked. Then you've got the opacity outside the value area. So the value area itself, where the actual most value has gone on within that day, where the most time has been spent, uh, is actually highlighted for you, okay? So yeah, hopefully that makes sense there. I'll, I'll briefly cover that. You then got the lines and, and labels. So the value area high, value area point of control. Now, important to note, Okay, and I'll always say this, this profile on the left, a lot of people kind of mistreat it as if it is a 
uh, volume point of control no um, the volume point of control which we'll get into in a minute diff can differ drastically from the time point of control this profile on the left with the blocks etc is visualizing where price has spent the most time and it's building it up through the course of the day or the set period that you desired and, and you know that you set through these set settings here okay um, so the value area high and the value area low this is not related to the volume this is related to the time in this case here okay uh, and you can see and i just wanted to mention that there the point of control of course is again the time point of control the time point of control and then you've got the tpo midpoint so the midpoint is simply the i believe the, the literally the high the low of the day and it's sticking the equilibrium okay uh, if, you, if you want that there uh, you then got the open price the close price you can have those labeled up as well for yourself and then you've got the initial balance range now the initial balance is simply the you know in this case we've got it set to two um, and dependent on the block size you know you've got it on so in this case 30 minutes it's going to print you know the initial balance is going to be two 30 minute candles okay um, so the initial balance is simply uh, the first two candles in this case so one hour worth of price action throughout the day now i, I thought i forgot what i was going to mention there but yeah this is really important to note uh, okay and I, I definitely recommend you know adjusting that as you wish if you've got any sort of edge in relation to the initial balance uh use it there uh, and that's kind of what i'd say in that case you don't need to adjust this the other thing i would mention is that let's say for example the block size is set to 30 minutes right you can still change your time frame of the chart that you're trading to a lower time frame and still get the 30 minute block size on the tpo so if you set this block size value it is not affected by you switching time frames uh, in that case which is really really useful okay now obviously i'm still using exo charts primarily for this but it's really nice to have this on on the fly on the quick for certain coins assets etc bitcoin even that you're looking at and want to find something out okay um, so obviously we've got the style we've covered the style initial balance range again so for example if you wanted to have the first four, you know two hours worth of price action in this case you set this to four and this black bar here this black bar is in relation to the initial balance and if you can see that very well we'll stick this on 30 minutes let it load again this is in beta so I, i'm sure it's not completely fully optimized just yet but you can see this black bar on the side of the profile that is what is relating to that initial balance okay um and again four would be four 30 minute candles which tallies up to two hours again the generic one is just in leaving this on two especially when you're dealing with the daily 30 minute time frame uh volume profile so you obviously got the values show volume profile if you want you can remove the volume profile again i find it really useful to have both of these up why because you can actually see some discrepancies between time and volume so just very quick example in this case this day here the 16th of october massive move up to thirty thousand dollar liquidity i remember the time point of control is coming in here okay where i'm highlighting and the volume point of control this red ray here is coming in lower now you would expect them to follow each other but they're obviously not in this case so i definitely re recommend you know having both of them on if you want um, but you can recognize any discrepancies between the two look for high volume nodes uh, so on and so forth and as you can see you know time and volume usually match up okay and, and i have done some checks this does correlate really well actually over two exo charts and stuff so the, the data you, the values you'll get will be very very similar um and the way you can adjust it is yeah it's really really useful in that case okay um you also got the visibility settings um you don't need to mess with those to be honest you also got the placement you can flip the the way the profile is created you know you could change the colors or everything uh, obviously the value high value low I don't have these marked i don't really need to mark these out to be honest but you could put these in black and then obviously change the thickness whatever you want i'm sure you're all very familiar with that to be honest um but yeah hopefully that makes sense again the, the way the tpo profile works itself is printed literally based upon the 30 minute candles so if we just go here uh i, I think this would definitely be better to show in exo charts for example but essentially as time goes on it's printing okay there's this much time spent here and you know if you could expand the profiles uh actually what i'll do very very quickly if i can you have to bear with me i'll bring this over to exo charts right okay hopefully you can all see now where this is exactly 30 minute profile you know 30 minute um daily profile and if i just double click i can expand the clusters here and you can see exactly how that time 
you know, that TPO profile is correlated with those 30 minute candles, right? So you can see that 30 minute candle here, it's kind of printing along and you could see where these, you know, how this profile kind of created itself. If we, if we kind of reset it here, you can see how th it makes a lot more sense now where there's a more, there's time spent at this, at this price level and so on and so forth as you go through the day. And then obviously that just collapses itself into one single profile to, to tell you where the most time has been spent. Okay. So hopefully you now have a, a really decent understanding at least of how this works. Um, a lot of different things you can be using from this again, such as the point of controls, etc. Uh, but I wanted to get a video out um, for you on how to use it all. Again, you can save some defaults for it, save defaults, so on and so forth. But hopefully I've covered every setting for you. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Thank you everyone for listening.